Yeah, uh, it was fun. I uh, got a lot of the good points. One of the things that they always talk about is the vaccine passport. I want to make yeah. this absolutely clear that it's not a vaccine passport. It's a social credit score system. If you go to China, uh, they're piloting it uh, a few years ago in Shenzhen. So I lived overseas. If you go to Shenzhen, back in 2017, they already had facial recognition cameras there. So if you jaywalked in Shenzhen, they would immediately detect that and send you a notification and they would deduct money from your what they call WeChat account. They, they use two main apps, WeChat and Alipay. So you can actually deduct your money directly from your account. This is four years ago. So this is not like some sort of conspiracy theory. It's not something that's going to happen 10 years into the future. This happened pre-corona in China. And so this system in China that exists, it's extremely advanced. They can detect if it's a man or a woman, they can detect, they can guess your age. They can detect what kind of car model it is, who the manufacturer is. This is a sort of technology that we see in all these dystopian sort of films and whatever. And people keep putting it off and thinking that this is something that's going to happen later in my kid's lifetime or my grandkids. It's already here. And if this gets implemented anywhere, especially in a Western nation, it's not going away. Israel is already talking about the fourth shot. Then they're going to be going to herpes. And they're going to ask if you're gay. They're going to be asking if you ate three pizzas this week because it's unhealthy. If you buy certain books in certain countries, your country doesn't like, you will lose points in the social credit score system. So this is already the reality of the world in certain places. And we need to be aware of that if we don't want that or if we do. And to be perfectly honest, anybody who wants his vaccine passport, it's a misnomer. It's total control. Everything you do or don't do will be calculated. To the point where if they can detect your GPS signal, if you have a phone on you, they can detect who you're hanging out with. Oh, you're hanging out with somebody that said something bad nine years ago on Weibo. Okay, like a Chinese equivalent to Facebook or something like that, right? Oh, you lose two points. Oh, you bought Japanese books. You lose five points because you don't like Japan. This is what is going to come here because it's already there. And we're doing that a little bit with contact tracing for COVID, aren't we? So that they can see where you're at. And who you're with. The simple reality is, is that the technology that CSIS has and all these big tech corporations, they already know where you are. It's just that they don't want to shock the system too much and admit that they have it. Edward Snowden revealed all this back in 2013. He, he fled to Hong Kong. They wouldn't keep him there. So now he's in Russia. Yeah. But the NSA has all of your information. They know your Google searches from like February 9th, 2004 in a bunker in Colorado. Help me, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> right, trouble. right. They have all this information. So, but they don't like in the.